So uh, I think the the biggest uh, way in which I've kind of learned something new is um, in terms of video communication. Um, it's something that we'd uh, done a little bit before at FEMS, but suddenly um, all of our meetings are being done um, online. Um, so we try and keep uh, regular contact uh, with the team, both for meetings and social events. We actually had our first ever uh, online board meeting uh, with the board of directors, which um, is something we've never done before, but um, went very well. Um, and I think we'd never have really got round to doing that if it wasn't for these uh, trying, challenging uh, circumstances. So it's a, an area definitely in which I've got um, better and more used to it. All of the different um, methods of online uh, communication. I feel like I've had a, at least a couple of meetings uh, with all of those. And although I think we were always heading in the direction of having more online meetings, um, it's really accelerated the pace at which we kind of move to having more flexible and more online meetings. It's important at this time to remember that physical distancing doesn't mean that um, we can't still be in touch. It's probably more important than ever that we communicate, we stay in touch, we interact uh, with people. At FEMS we have online uh, coffee breaks um, as well as the regular meetings that we now have online just to retain that sense of interaction and normality and, and seeing how all of our friends and colleagues um, are doing. It's, it's easier than it's ever been to stay in touch uh, with people and the brain can't differentiate between face-to-face -face meetings be online or um, in reality. So I think there's a, a real important need just to stay in touch and know that people don't have to face these challenges um, alone. Uh, the, the pandemic um, has really taken up a lot of our um, attention and our resources. And I think that's entirely um, appropriate, but we also have to be very mindful actually that there are all sorts of other activities um, that still need planning, that still need support, um, and we must be very careful that they don't um, get ignored or forgotten um, in this way actually. So while we have had extra meetings and extra attention um, and ongoing um, preparations for COVID-19 and its implications, actually we also have um, a work plan that we follow um, at FEMS and we check in with this every week. And although we're kind of saying, what are the really, really important things that must still um, be done? And is there anything else that we perhaps need to postpone? What we're making sure is that everything else gets attention. Everything that we said we wanted to do at the start of the year, we still go through together as a team and say, is this worth doing? Is this something that we should be doing? And we allocate resources that are appropriate um, to that. So although we're paying more attention uh, to COVID-19 and that is our main focus at the minute, we're trying to make sure that collectively there's also lots of attention being given to um, all the other things that we like to try and do, all the business as usual um, that still needs to happen um, despite uh, all the challenges that we're facing.